Alrighty then, ladies and gentlemen, Sober Gamers coming back at you with some more Twin Mirror. In this episode, we are hung over being on alcohol and pills, and I tell you what, I've been there before. <laughs> I've been in his exact state right now. We have 15 minutes to make it to the bar to chat with Anne. Woke up at 9.15. They're trying to kick us out. Let's go try to recall the night and, well, figure out what the heck happened, because you... You know stuff happened. Late for checkout. They can wait a bit more. <laughs> they can wait more, huh? They're gonna charge you for another day. Oh god, he's walking so slow. Why is it so bright outside? Yeah, I've been there. Pills. Ugh. Been there too. Oh, my head. How many of these did I take? Better yet, what were they? God, what a headache. I feel like a small jackhammer in my left temple. Please let there be water. No, no food. I'll just throw it all up. <laughs> Been there before, too. Is that... No, that's not water. That is vodka, the opposite of water. <laughs> no, no more beer. I need water. <laughs> no water, of course. I mean, there is a sink, literally right over there. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, there's a sink. Is my character one of those hoity-toity types who doesn't like to drink tap water? Just tossed on the floor. My mother would be proud. Yeah, maybe she would be. At least it won't take me long to get my things. <laughs> how did you get here in the first place? Like, how... You were at the bar. How did you get here? That's my question. I was at least hoping I'd look better than I feel. Yeah, you don't. You definitely don't. Shirt. That's funny. I already feel more human. Now, where did I put my shirt? <laughs> I know where. <laughs> That's not good. That's Where did I get this? What did I do? Okay, then this just went from zero to a hundred real quick. I'm controlling the camera, but not his movement. Sam, be more careful. Breathe. Focus. Find the way to calm down.
Sam, focus. You have to find the right door. You need to steady yourself. Ah, okay. I have to find the right door. Sam, focus. You have to find the right door. You need to steady yourself. I guess I have to dodge all of these then, because it just keeps taking me. Dodge them all. Make it up. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Sam, Samuel, focus. Focus on anything other than the fear. Good, really good. You're almost there. Okay, now I'm now I'm controlling it. Mirror, mirror, mirror. Focus. Choose. Act. Deliberately. Get far away. Just go. Or as fast as I can. Okay, what does this one say? Hide. It's never happened. Going on. I run. I like that yes. one. Answers. Good or bad, I need answers. I know what you're thinking. Stop thinking that. Pills and alcohol? You're lucky enough you didn't wake up dead. I need to know what happened last night. The last place I remember is the bar, so I'll start there. The squeaky nail gets hammered down. Maybe don't play lone wolf detective. Okay. I'll be safer knowing. I'll be careful I know how to blend in. I'm not choosing to know how to blend in, not in this town. I'll be safer knowing. That's true. Yeah. There's too many questions about last night. All the obvious answers are bad, but worth knowing. Not all answers are worth knowing. I can't just run from whatever this is. So either help me or get out of my head. It's your life, Sam. I just live here. Dude. <laughs> This is trippy. That went from zero to a hundred real quick. Wow.
things could be worse. Coal Miner's Haven. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Do you really think breaking and entering is a good idea? Used Ethan's hidden spare key, no breaking involved. I don't know if he'll see it that way. I could wait for the bar to open, or I could look for answers. I picked the latter. What about the meeting with Anna? Wasn't that supposed to be at 9.30 in the morning? It's uh, definitely not 9.30 anymore. Maybe that would have been another choice I could have done if I would have picked one of the other, like the blending in one. Maybe I would have gone there instead. Uh, not used effectively, given the smell. <laughs> been there before, too. So you woke up, pills, alcohol, all you remember is the bar, and your shirt was covered in blood. That's odd if the shirt was the only thing covered in blood. You didn't have any on your skin. You didn't have any in the bed. It was just the shirt. It's a little shady. Know the taste all too well. Oh god, I'm there with you, bro. Uh, what's that? Soda cans. Mostly untouched load demand for it yesterday. Yeah, that's true. Security desk. Stops most casual theft attempts. Family photo. Oh, I get it. This is a... Like a safe, it looks like, almost. Yeah. Ethan and his parents. I'm guessing that's his sister. He always thought they'd run the bar together. All right, come on now, pop up. There it is. I remember seeing this before, a long time ago. What is it? Journal update. Oh God, another really big one. Uh, just like before, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it every so often so you guys can Read it if you want to. I'll read it uh, off screen. So I don't annoy you with my terrible reading. What's that adage about happy families all being the same? While the miserable ones are miserable in their own way, it sure didn't take long for Ethan's family to develop their own brand of unhappiness. Uh, the new one down there. Joan is in that awkward phase when she's a kid, a teenager, and an adult all at the same time. Grief isn't helping matters. She feels that there's no one in her corner. Yeah, that sucks. Kathy and Joan's relationship seems fraught with tension. Subtly is not Declan's thing, but he's always been a straight-up cop, and he cares about Basswood. He needs to care about little girl's feelings. You dick. Uh, so what's new for me? Way down there. I admit that packing up and leaving town would make perfect sense. But I can't. Not now. Not until I get to the bottom of this. It is definitely true about that. That's for sure. Sheriff. Bess comes from a family of cops that goes back generations. She spends every waking hour on the job. And it means everything to her. But she's also a politician. Knows her audience and chooses her words carefully. See, that, that, it's a good sheriff right there. Maybe if Declan could, like, get some of what she has, he might not be a dick. Yeah, I'm curious. I want to I wanna, I wanna, I wanna go back and see what other people did for this one. Uh, reunion with Anna, 54%. I'm seeing Anna tomorrow at the cafe. Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Missed that. I agreed to toast with Nick and his friends. Probably shouldn't have. 
So I confronted the coal miners, and there was a 38% of people chose that one. 54% of people chose the reunion, and 55% chose to drink. No choices have been made in that scene yet. Yep. I doubt Ethan's account somehow led to the blood on my shirt. Well, you never know. Who knows what led to it, actually? So the cans, let's already check that out. It's not much here, is there? Let's do a quick one over again. I don't see anything else, so I guess I might have to leave. I can't leave. There's something in here. But what is it? Okay. I doubt Ethan's account somehow led to the blood on my shirt. Okay. I don't know what to do. I'm just hitting random buttons right now, seeing if he does anything different. Oh, well, I found out that the right stick button centers you into ways looking, so that's good to know. Figure what happened. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Okay. Maybe something else in here somewhere. Ethan and his parents. And I'm guessing that's his sister. He always thought they'd run the bar together. Okay. I wish I could crouch or something. do not know what to do. What the heck? Retrace my steps. We came back to the bar. Okay. Maybe the clock. Maybe if I look at that, something will happen. Nope. There's definitely a chance I might have to do a bit of editing magic to get to <laughs> to get to where I figured this out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cuz I'm stuck. Oh, here we go. Main room door. Of course there's a main room door. We saw it in the last episode. I'm stupid. You can all laugh at me. It's fine. Whoa. What happened here last night? First, look around, figure out what happened. Okay. Evidence from last night. What is that icon up there? Add clue. I ended up drinking alone. So who brought that second glass? Okay. Couldn't that have been your glass as well? Just to have more than one at the table, that's possible. Possibly risky to linger. Okay. Cash. Looks intact. Hope all drinks were paid for. Mine included. Mop. Ethan tried to clean up before or after the incident. Anything with the bathroom? No. Not not yet, anyway, in case something does happen. Oh, okay. Well, it went down here. Ugh. Did I do this? 
Sorry, Nick. Oh, I hope you didn't do that. The Pac-Man game is on. He must have turned it on. I'm not playing. Actually, I probably am going to play. <laughs> I'm very curious as to what went down. Was moved slightly. Connected to the fight? I don't think it was connected to the fight. It was probably moved so the dude could plug in the Pac-Man machine. Because Pac-Man was not on last night. Oh, come on, I hit X. Let's go. Oh my god. It's actually the game. Believe me, I'm not good at Pac-Man. Gotcha, homie. You're mine. Concentration is real. And I lost. <laughs> Chasing and being chased by ghosts. Waka waka. <laughs> Trophy earned. Waka waka. Okay, cool. Maybe something had to do with these miners that were over here. Yeah, yeah. They might have fallen off the table. Yeah, you know that some people got rowdy last night. Of course they did. Severely damaged require a strong impact. Okay. Upturned furniture. These were sent scattering. Someone thrown into them? Okay. What's this? Nothing. Oh, I forgot I can walk faster if I use the trigger button. <laughs> oh, what's that? What does it say? Ripped. Did this happen yesterday or was it always like that? And then what about here? I don't want to go outside. After all, we did break into this place. Ooh, broken clock. What knocked this clock off the pillar? It seems there was a fight. That could explain the blood on my shirt. Does it mean that I was involved? I won't be able to find out without more evidence. You're not wrong. Sticky floor. Dried alcohol. Could be from spills or a broken bottle. Oh, there's something right here. What does that say? What does that say? Oh, just mess. Okay. Definitely not the wake Nick would have wished for. What a mess. Hope this wasn't me. Hugh Kirkland, pharmacist. Drink plenty of water, great for headache. I mean, he's not wrong. Hugh's business card. Wonder why it's here. I mean, he was here last night. So what else could there be? What am I missing? Right there. Right there. Oh, come on. Tell me you see that. Right there, my guy. Look down. How about this down here, maybe? Ah, yeah, there's a cap. Joel's hat. Maybe we ended up having it out after all. 
And you probably did. That's probably exactly what happened. Dude was kind of a jerk. What used to be here? Okay, anything new with the drum set? That was not touched. Anything new with his wake stuff? Doesn't seem like it. Nothing there, nothing there. Okay. Associates only. I can't go in there. It'd be helpful if I could. Let's come back around here, see if we can see anything extra on the floor, maybe? Okay. Bottles, bat, cash. Can't interact with them. Already looked at you. Here we go. Could be the same blood that was on my shirt. The pot was completely shattered. Looked like it might have been kicked. The flowers are ruined. Looks like they were knocked over, then stepped on. Wait, what is that? DG bracelet? DG. Dennis's initials. Was he involved in whatever happened? Wouldn't surprise me. I think I've seen enough to put together the pieces of what happened last night. Just gotta think it through. Okay. Really quickly, I want to go down here and have a look at this. Indicates there's evidence to be found. Indicates there's more evidence. Indicates all evidence. Okay, that's what I was curious about, is what that was. Press right one to go into the mine palace. At least I can always count on this place to make sense. Makes now sense. to work out what happened while I was blacked out last night. I just need to think it through logically, throw out impossibilities. Until only the truth is left. I know I got into a fight, but it could have played out in many different ways. I have to think it through, find out what really happened. Okay, answer the question to start forming a hypothesis. Oh, this is cool. Wow, this is really cool. So this was one of my clues. My memory ends here, but there's two glasses. Who was here with me? Wait, what did that... I was drinking on my own. And someone approached me. I can't remember who it was, but I know we got into a fight. Obviously. If I figure out how the fight went, I should figure out who my assailant was. Okay. So the fight was started right there. Which me, I think about it, would probably come to here. Towards the pillar, towards the entrance. What does this one say? If anything. Yeah, nothing it seems there, okay. There's nothing over there. Where did the conflict go? Obviously it went to the pillar. Something hit the pillar with enough force to make the clock fall. A person thrown into the pillar would do it. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So the, oh, here it is. K. 
Okay. At the bar near the jukebox on the stage. Yeah, there was stuff over here that was broken. But his hat was over there. I'm gonna say at the bar. One hell of a mess. This could definitely be the result of two people fighting. That could be it, but I still have to figure out who was sitting next to me. Okay. Dennis bracelet, Joel cap, Hughes business card. Oh, okay. Uh, is there nothing else I could check out over here? So Joel, who was Joel again? He was the, this guy? Yeah. His cap? Still here. We got into that argument, but I don't think Joel would come over here and drink with us if he was already drinking with people over there. You know what I mean? So Dennis or Hugh? Let's go see Dennis. Who is Dennis again? This guy. Okay. He was drunk. He had a gun, so that could explain. Okay. Kinda want to say it was Dennis. Hughes. Where's Hughes at? Where's he at up here? There he is. He was the pharmacist. I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say it was Dennis. But, oh God, it may not have been Dennis, though. He could have left a bracelet on the memorial. But no, he would... Uh, we're saying Dennis. That's Dennis's. I definitely wanted to shut him up last night. Yeah. Press R1 to validate your hypothesis. But then how did that stuff over there get wrecked? If the fight had ended here, the bar wouldn't be such a mess. Okay, so here's what happened. The fight went there. I'm going to say that was me that punched him right there. I wish I could remember what I was wearing. But I think that was me that knocked him out right there. And then it was probably Joel... ...who came over and tried to intervene, in which case his hat ended up over there. Why was Dennis's stuff right there? Uh, I think I might have made the wrong choice. So the person I hit went down right here. That could have been Hughes, because that's where his card was at. Okay, let's see. So what am I selecting now? What am I choosing here? Let's go over here then. Baby's telling me I made the wrong choice.
Like, if I were to come over here and say choose maybe, uh, Hughes. The pharmacist's business card. Hope I didn't start picking on the elderly. So yeah, he'll get over here. Knock down right there. Maybe not. Maybe this didn't go to the bar. Maybe it went to the jukebox. The jukebox is not in the same place. Maybe it was involved in the fight somehow. Yeah, that could be. Then the person walk over this direction, it looks like. Let's just see how this works to, uh, toward the stage. It looks like not even the memorial board was spared by the brawl. Oh, he got back up right there. This doesn't fit with the thing I found. Yeah, that makes me think over here that it was Dennis. That's Dennis's. I definitely wanted to shut him up last night. So Dennis knocked against that. That went down. I knocked him over there. Let's give that a shot. I have a complete picture now. You know, the man who talks to himself has an idiot for an Fuck audience. Fuck off, Dennis. <laughs> I see why you have so many friends left in town. Yeah, you would know about that. At least my best friend never slept with my ex. Who do you blame more, huh? The backstabbing asshole or the bitch who... about Anna or Nick that way. You think you know who Nick was? Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. No one in this town does. What are you talking about? I'll show you. But not here. Sam. Meet me later at Sam. the... Ethan is coming back in through the front. At least I think it's him. You think it's him? I can't actually tell if you can't tell. What I know for sure is if it's Ethan, he may not be happy to find you here. So I strongly suggest you leave. And if you don't, well, I don't have time to lose explaining myself to Ethan. You're gonna say we leaving. Did I mention it had long loading screens? 
I come back on the town's Miner's Day celebration. Well, you always did have great timing. No time to dwell on that. Focus. You tried Dennis's cell phone. No answer. So what now? There's that coffee date with Anna. Anna might have to wait. I want to see if anyone has seen Dennis first. I don't know. I'll play it by ear. Just remember she's expecting you. She's extending the olive branch. Don't drop it. Man, I'm... I still have time before meeting Anna. Might as well ask if anyone saw Dennis. I didn't mean to still have time. Whatever. Let's go look. Uh, Dennis. Dennis behaved like a total jerk last night. Slagging off both Nick and Anna to me. How badly did I hurt him? Hopefully a lot. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say that right now. Does it say the time here? I could have sworn she said 9.30 and there's it. Alright, whatever. We'll figure it out as I go along. I'm curious what decisions do people make. I snuck out of the bar before Ethan could have seen me. Oh god, do they have cameras though? I wasn't even thinking about that. Whatever. But that's gonna be it for this episode, you guys. We had quite a bit that happened in this one, like... Starting to really get into the meat and potatoes, the mechanics and all that of this game, and... I love the visual of it, the aesthetic, it's absolutely awesome. Reminds me a lot of uh, the Sinking City, the HP Lovecraft one. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of that. But I like how this is phrased better, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, if you guys went ahead and liked the video, then go ahead and give me that there like. Uh, go and leave a comment, tell me what you think about it, and if you feel so inclined to, then please give me that there subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it, and I appreciate every single one of you guys here that shows up on my channel. But you know what? Until next time, I hope everybody here has a wonderful day.